Well, hey everyone, uh, Richard here with Stuff We Can Do in Excel. Uh, what I want to do in this video is show you really quickly how to create a table of summary statistics using the data analysis tool pack. Now, if you don't have the data analysis tool pack, there's a video uh, posted here on YouTube that will show you how to access that and get it activated in your Excel. It does come with Excel, you just have to activate it. So here's our data, um, and I'm not gonna do anything like name the ranges or put it in the table. I'm just gonna use the raw data, and we're going to create a table of summary statistics. Sometimes you've got a lot of data, and it's just real helpful to know what's the mean, what's the mode, what's the standard deviation, and you wanna know that data uh, for these items. So uh, what we're going to do is first, it doesn't really matter where your cursor is, we're gonna go to the data tab, go all the way to the right and click data analysis. And we're gonna, un uh, among these, you've got a lot of different choices in the data analysis tool pack. You've got a lot of analysis of variance tools, some correlation and covariance tools. You've got uh, descriptive statistics, which is what we'll, we'll be using, and then some others down here. And actually, uh, I've got a video that shows you how to use the histogram. We've got another video that shows you how to do a t-test uh, in uh, using the data analysis tool pack. But right now, let's just use the descriptive statistics. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to bring me a box. First thing it wants to know is the range of my data. So I'm going to pick, and let's, uh, there's nothing in there right now, so let's go ahead and I'm going to pick all my data from uh, from C1 uh, all the way down to C47, and I'm going to say that there's a data a data label in the first row, and I'm going to put this on a new worksheet, and we're going to get the summary statistics, and we'll hit OK. And when I do that, it's going to give me on this other table a summary statistic. Now I'll click on this little gray box. Double click on any divider between any of the cells and it'll resize all my cells. So what have I got here? Well, I've got some information that tells me the mean of my data. Mean of my sales is 17,716. My standard error is 307. My standard deviation is 2084. I've got a median, uh, right? The middle of my data is 18,107. Now it's interesting, it doesn't have a mode and that's because of the nature of this data. This data is continuous in nature, so a mode isn't really meaningful. If the data was set measurements, um, and you would tend to have the data grouping together, you might get a mode, but you're not gonna get that mode, generally speaking, with continuous data. Uh, it's got some other stuff down here. It tells you the minimum and the maximum of your, uh, of your data. It tells you the range between the minimum and maximum. It also tells you the sum of sales, and it tells you that we have a count of 46 items. Now, one other thing we could do, we could do this a little differently. What if I wanted to do multiple of these, multiple counts? Well, it's really simple. I simply click, I, I'm gonna again, go to my data analysis tool pack. This time when I pick descriptive statistics, I am going to, instead of doing just a column, I'm gonna actually do a range. So I'm gonna start uh, with, with C1, I'm gonna go shift, control shift down, and then to the right. Now I've got both it and cost of goods sold highlighted. I can hit da data in my first row. I'm gonna do on a new worksheet and put summary statistics, and I'm gonna get output that looks like this. That's a little messy, right? So I'm gonna click on my little gray box, double click on uh, any divider between any of the columns. It's gonna give everything properly sized. I'm gonna uh, center sales over that, um, I, mean, I won't do that, but I mean, I'm going to highlight sales with, let's say, um, uh, light green and cost of goods sold. I'll highlight with a uh, light, oh, I don't know, orange or yellow. And the reason I do this is because it's easier to tell them apart. And what you can see is that I now have um, the data I need, the summary statistics that I need about my data file that helps to give me an idea of what it looks like. So it's a real useful tool uh, to create this summary uh, table of statistics. Uh, hopefully you find it useful uh, and uh, uh, you'll be able to get some uh, meaningful data out of it.